Welcome to Only Connect, where we had a sad experience this week. A team of three turned up, lovely people, very good at the game, but we couldn't have them on the show because they just didn't have any common ground that we could pithily sum up as a team name. I said, what about cricket? Do you all like cricket? You could be the house ats, but no, two of them liked it. One guy said it was the most boring game ever invented. I said, what about jam? Everyone likes jam. You could be the gym jams. But would you believe it? The same guy who didn't like cricket said he was violently allergic to jam. Well, in the end, we had to let them go. So if you're watching, I'm sorry, Athos. Sorry, Porthos. Sorry, Kevin. It just wasn't to be. But I'll tell you who we have got. On my right, David Southworth, a data analyst who was interviewed in French after accidentally attending a Belgian royal wedding. Jessica Southworth, a qualified yoga instructor who's had flesh-eating bugs removed from her skin on two occasions. And their captain, Selena Conroy, a journalism graduate who fell into a bin after walking past Alan Rickman. United by a soft spot for snow, they're the Apre skiers. So, Selena, how did you put your team together? Um, so, Jessica and David are married, um, and I am friends with both of them. Um, they actually met when they were skiing, um, and I'm very good at apre skiing. I considered going for that, and then I realised I could just drink at home and it wouldn't even be cold. <laughs> good luck. You will be playing against, on my left, Andrew Bevan, an information manager who has a 33rd tooth, Andy McGurn, a social worker who's been mistaken for Gary Oldman in three different countries, and their captain, Kilial Campbell, a former probation officer who freed a sea turtle from a coral reef while diving in Saudi Arabia. They all work for the same company. They are the colleagues. So have you been working together all year, Khalil? Did your workplace shut down? It shut down, but we generally work remotely a lot of the time, so it didn't really phase us that much. A lot of our quizzes here spend a great deal of time alone, so, you know, it's not <laughs> been a difficult year. Well, good luck, you two. Let's get on with the quiz. We have tossed a coin. At Prey Skiers, you won the toss, so you'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Could we have the lion, please? Yes, you could. What is the connection between these apparently random clues? Here's the first. Next. Next, please. These the presenters on the... I don't know, because right? I think we're traveling on the roof. We're a double deck. Let go, OK? Uh, next, please. Shifter, I can't think of it is, I'm not sure. Let's take another. Next, please. Well, uh, Simon and Garfunkel, are they traveling Simon? Maybe they're the second, the second half of Jules. Yeah. We think that they are all the second part of a duo. So I need to hear something very specific. Um, um, they're all Simons. They are all partnered with Simons. Oh, well That's exactly oh. right. Who are these various people? Simon and Trevor. We, we could only think of Trevor and Simon. Yeah, was it? It was Trevor and Simon. Oh, well, there we go. Yes. Um, no. Trevor and Simon, the comedy duo. Yes. Uh, now more casually known as Trev and Simon, I think, <laughs> from children's TV. Simon and Simon, what's that? No idea. Okay. That was an American detective series. Okay. Simon and Schuster? I think they're publishers. Them. It publishes, yes, founded yeah. by Richard L. Simon, who was the father of Carly Simon. Yeah. Founded, I think, in the 20s, not to give away Miss Simon's age at all. Uh, Simon is just the publishers, and Simon and Garfunkel, of course, the great musicians. Well done. Over to you, colleagues, for a choice. I have twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. OK. Any idea on that? Kind of classical Renaissance of French. Next. She's about hotel worlds. So, does she write about hotels? Paintings about hotels? Always features in them. I don't know. Next, please. Oh, gosh. Four Seasons. They did something to do with Four Seasons. Let's go next. Vivaldi did Four Seasons. Next. Oh, yeah, four yeah press, press, yeah. All Four Seasons. Yeah. This is all Four Seasons. That's absolutely right. Have you read any of the Ali Smith books? No. No. 
uh, four books, of course. Nicholas Poussin, four seasonal paintings, I think, all featuring pizza. No, they don't. <laughs> um, and the Vivaldi Concerti. And the Frankie Valley Band members, that's the four seasons. One of them is called Tommy DeVito. Does that name ring any bells? Danny DeVito's DeVito. father? Yeah. It, it, no, it's Joe <laughs> Pesci's character in Goodfellas. And Joe Pesci was actually friends with Frankie Valli growing up and with Tommy DeVito, so there may be a link there. Okay. A small world of uh, Italian-Americans. Small, terrifying <laughs> world. <laughs> At Brace Gears, what would you like? Uh, could we have Eye of Horus, please? Yes, you could. What is the connection... Ah, musical clues. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> what is the connection between the clues you're going to hear? First one coming in now. <laughs> Next, please. Nothing that's formal. Nothing that's normal. No recitations to recite. <laughs> Next, please. Is your figure less than Greek? Is your mouth a little weak? Next, please. No fat old Beatman. He's always on our street. A fat and jolly red-faced man. He really is a treat. Um, we're going to guess that they are, um, there are professions in the title of the songs. That is not the right answer, I'm afraid. So a bonus chance for you, colleagues. It's all about old men. Old men. Um, well, some would say everything is. <laughs> but uh, I'm afraid that's not the answer either. What did you recognise? My old man's a dustman. He was the yeah. laughing policeman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you said professions. You didn't know any of the others. No. <laughs> that beautiful Ella Fitzgerald singing My Funny Valentine. Funny. We also heard Comedy Tonight from Sondheim yeah. Musical. Funny thing happened on the way to the forum. And a musical joke. It's all to do with comedy. Comedy, laughing and jokes. Colleagues, what would you like? As a horned viper, please. Yes, you can. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Okay, that was Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Yeah. So then, should we go for Mickey Mouse? I think we should. No. I think next. Next, please. No. Oh, uh, um, it was Clary Gap, which backwards meant bugger all. Um, oh, so I don't the, know what the sorcerer was. In the sorcerer, they had to say the thing backwards. Didn't yeah. It? Yeah. It's the same. The same. The name backwards is also a word. Next, please. <laughs> The name backwards. Five seconds. The name backwards. We believe it's name backwards. There's a name backwards. That's absolutely right. The names come from reversed words. The place in Under Milk Wood. Well, I suppose if you were pronouncing it in a Welsh way, it would be Sharegib. Sharegib. Yeah. Um, but if you said it in an English way, it would be Laregub. So if you imagine that backwards, that's uh, you know that's a phrase. The sorcerer in Fantasia. Do you know his name? Yen Sid, so that would be Disney uh, backwards. Uh, Waldo's enemy, that's uh, the US name for Wally from uh, Where's Wally, the enemy is Oddlaw. And um, the Roald Dahl novel, that uh, you didn't need that clue, do you know what that is? SEO Trot. Oh. SEO Trot, which is tortoise backwards. That's right, reversed words or names backwards. Well done. At Brace Gears, what would you like? Uh, could we have two reads, please? Yes, you could. These are going to be picture clues. What do they have in common? Here's the first. Uh, next. I don't know what Next, please. Is that Hawaii? Oh, is it? Oh, double I. Double I. They all end with a double I, or they all. Have they all eye. end with a double yeah. I. Very well done. Let's bring up all the clues. Please tell me what you're looking at. Um, so we're looking at Danny Minogue. Mm -hmm. Who's Danny Minogue? Uh, she is Kylie Minogue's sister. Yes, I mean, a um, presenter and singer in her own right. She, her she's own got a sister, rights. Kylie Minogue, um, and a brother, Brendan Minogue, a news cameraman. Wonderful bum he's got, <laughs> I hear. What else? Um, Pompeii. Pompeii. Um, Hawaii. Hawaii. And a Wii. A Nintendo Wii. Wii. All end in double I. Well done. Back to you, colleagues, for the last question of the round, the water question. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Been hit by a car. Who's going? Who's going? Next, please. Okay, I'll take a pocket, I'll hide her. 
It's these crimes of trespass. Or... That is like uh, in Grand Theft Auto, isn't it? No. Next. Sinking on a turtle. Oh, probably something somebody did. No, I don't know. Got any more? Andy? No, I don't. Do Next, please. <laughs> Oh, the ways you can die okay. in... Yeah. It's press, 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 two press. seconds. ways you can die in a computer game. Yeah, these are ways you can die in a computer game. I need to hear something specific. If you're a frog. In frogger. frogger. In yeah. Frogger. Ways you can die in Frogger. Yeah. You a Frogger fan, Andy? I, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when did you last play it? Oh, about... Just before lockdown, there's a... Uh, one of those classic arcade mission, arcade where they have all the old ones, and I went there in uh, in an early part of this year up in Leeds. So yeah, that's not the answer I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I last played it in 1982. I mean, not to assume about your age either, of course. <laughs> that means at the end of round one, the Apre skiers have three points. The colleagues have four. <laughs> On to round two, the sequences round. I want to know what comes forth in a sequence. Apre skiers, you'll be going first again. Please choose a sequential hieroglyph. Could we have twisted flax, please? Yes, you could. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Oh, there's going to be sizes of islands. It's, uh, it's a French island, but I think it's got an accent. Next, please. OK, there's no island. <laughs> Next, please. Yeah, so it's just... Yeah. Pie. pie. Is the right answer? Well done. And why? Um, these are all the American pie films within the franchise, um, going from latest to earliest. Exactly right. So American Pie, American Pie 2, American Wedding, he's finally taking her up the aisle, and American Reunion that was, uh, that was made much later. Well done. Very good. Colleagues, what would you like? A lion, please. Lion. OK, you'll be seeing a series of pictures. What sort of thing would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Who is that? It's the guy the Grammy Award musician. Next, please. That's Desert. Johnny Mathis. No, Desert Connor, isn't it? Oh, Desert Connor. Yeah. Is it Desert Connor? I don't think it is. He's one of those singers. Next, please. Any clue? Who is that? So need a connection. No, this is, it's going to be an early seventh, but a picture of someone. In what? <laughs> no idea. Right. Two seconds. It's going to be a picture of uh, Tommy Cooper saying nearly seventh. It is not going to be a picture of Tommy Cooper. Ambrose Gears, do you know? Um, we think it'd be a picture of somebody like Judy Dench with nearly seventh. G Judy oh, Murray. Judy sorry, Murray, sorry. I will accept that answer. I'm glad you said somebody named <laughs> Judy first. Why not Judy Dench? Yeah. Judy, Judy Dench is spelled with an I, and the yeah. sequence, which Jessica got, not me, yeah. is that uh, it's one letter away from a month. So Avril Lavigne is one letter away from April. Uh, I, we don't know who that is for May. Jane Austen, one letter away from June, and Judy, July. That's exactly what it is. I mean, isn't that fiendish? Their names are nearly the names of months. None of you recognises who's at Clue 2. Oh, I'm a pink toothbrush, I'm a blue toothbrush. March. Nobody knows March. his name. Max Bygraves. Max Bygraves. No? No. The great Max Bygraves at Clue 2. Not me. <laughs> Very well done getting the bonus on that super hard question. What would you like for yourselves? Um, we'll take Horned Viper, please. OK, what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Is it just moving down the country? Uh, I don't know, it could be. That's something I know. Or dates of independence? I don't know. We don't need that. Next, please. OK, no, it could be moved down the country. That's OK. South Africa. It's a funny thing, isn't it, the human brain? You know, that's the right answer. It's the human brain. It's a funny thing. You can work out this incredibly cryptic thing. Your lateral thinking is sort of flawless. You recognise enough of the people and you can see 
April, May, and then you can think of another one, and then in time go, actually, not Judy Dead. And yet, you don't know Max Bygraves. I promise you, you have <laughs> not got to this point in life without seeing Max Bygraves before. He is very, very famous. You will have seen him. I feel okay. my grandparents probably had... Max Bygraves. Where's this album. going? <laughs> I probably did see him when I, if I was rifling through their record collection. I mean, you I definitely well. have. Yeah. You have all seen Max Bygraves. <laughs> and yet, your brain didn't hang on to that, and yet it could do that. It's funny, isn't it? And there are people at home who are shouting, but that's Max Bygraves, but they still don't understand what the sequence was. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> anyway, yes, yes, South Africa, correct. Colleagues, what would you like? Two reads, please. Two reads. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. First, okay. Poet, first laureate, maybe I don't know, I don't think so. So, who's the fourth laureate? Do you know? I don't know. No. Next, please. George Bernard Shaw. Was he also a laureate? I don't know poet laureates, but. No. Next, please. Samuel Beckett, Thomas Beckett, Margaret Beckett. They're Irish, they're all Irish. Fourth, James Joyce. Joyce. Fourth. Joyce. Fourth. 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 Joyce. It's a very good guess, but not, I'm afraid, the answer. At first years, do you know? Fourth Heaney. The answer is Fourth Heaney, and why is that? Um, they are all Irish winners of the... Nobel Prize for Literature. Exactly so. Nobel laureates in literature. There are four, and the fourth, the great Seamus Heaney. What would you like next? Um, could we have water, please? Yes, you could. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Mr. Bean, John, Next, please. Michael Frank, Frank with the cricket and Mike's a Is it going to be something, if it's Sean, then Mike, is that going to be a sequence somehow? Like, Sean. Sure. No, next, please. Three seconds. Blank cloud. I'm afraid I can't make the sequence work with cloud, so I'm going to throw it over to the colleagues for a possible bonus point. Mm. We're going to have blank toast. That's not it either. Now, this is another horrible question, unless, as many quizzes do, you have recently revised the NATO alphabet. Oh, you can put that. Lima before Bean, Mike before uh, Tyson, November before Rain, so I want to hear something Oscar. that can come after Oscar. Oscar. And I don't know of an Oscar toast or an Oscar cloud. We went with the grouch. I did. Yes. I revised the NATO alphabet as well. <laughs> really? <laughs> you won't get that time back. <laughs> Very unlucky. But you do get the last question of the round, the Eye of Horus. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. That's... Hang on, that's, um... Uh, is it like a... It's me around, they're, all, they're all named after characters. Go next, yeah. see what comes Next, please. That's Titan. So, Titania, Titan... Uh, wait, hang on. Titania, Titan... And you drop another two letters. Okay. So is it just T, something that describes T. the letter T? So, um, Mr T from the AT. Uh, without the Mr. Okay. We have Mr from the AT. Very good. Coming in after two clues, you get three points. That is an acceptable answer. We went with the less fun intersection of lines on a squash court. <laughs> What's the sequence? Titania, Titan, um, and then drop two letters each time. And thank you for your delicacy there. You actually are allowed to say tit because it's a songbird. I mean, never mind you in the town in Wales. Um, I must say it's a bit daft to call a moon of Uranus Titania. I mean, I don't want to get... You know, we've had enough grubbiness in the show so far. But it's already called Uranus. Do you know what I mean? And then some people try and say Uranus, which to me is, if anything, worse. Why would you call the moon a bit Titania? It's not like there aren't other Shakespearean characters. But, yes, we're taking two letters off the end each time, so we want something that represents T. Very well done. That means at the end of round two, the colleagues have seven points, the Apres skiers have nine. 
time now for the connecting wall, and it'll be the colleague's turn to go first this time. So, Khalil, I can offer you the choice, lion or water? Lion, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. Uh, amino acid. Amino acid, fatty acid, acid, formic acid. Formic. acid. formic. And battery? Yep. Uh, proposition. Promo, trailer, um, advert, plug. Plug, yeah. Promotional things for films and commercial, maybe. Or advert. advert. So, commercial and advert could both be in that group. Yeah. Three strikes but, now, you've got plenty of time. Uh, was, were they in Beano or characters in the Beano? Yeah. Smithy? Uh, proposition. Uh, fatty, yeah. Smithy, Wilfred. I, I mean, some of them sound like characters. I mean, Smithy, Wilfred, Fatty, Fatty and Toots. Toots. Yeah. Sound, but we don't. Yeah, but what would the others, could the other the others be? Herb. 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 Well, Herb could be a character as well, I suppose. Yeah. Proposition, no. advert. Short for proposition is a prop. Short for advert is ad. Short for no. Short for Herb. OK, we're going to need some... Proposition is... Is there any word, any word stuff in there, like... Um, Add to graph, position, vert. But they have Greek colours in them. Advert has vert in it. Uh, what else? Uh, was it? We've probably got to try some of the. High noon, high fat. Yeah, no. I think we're going to have to try. We've got to try the characters, I suppose. So, yeah. this might well, be... for... You've solved the wall. Very well done. But do you know why? Uh, Let's have a look at the connecting points. Tell me about is. Amino, Malik, and so on. These are types of acid. They're all acids. Trailer, promo, plug, commercial. Uh, like or promotion preparatory, for... Preparatory... All adverts for Recommends films. things to people. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. They're all synonyms for different types of advertising. And, of course, advert isn't in that group, so I'll take adverts as the connection. Are they in Beano? Add the next Beano. group. Fatty, Toots, mm. Wilfred, Smithy. Beano. These are characters from Beano. They're characters from the Beano. Can you be any more specific? Are oh, the Bash Street, Bash Street Kids. They are the yeah. Bash Street Kids. And what about the last group? Proposition, advert, herb oh, and noon. Owl. These are all followed by... I don't think you're seeing <laughs> this one. You did ask, was there a word one? Yes, and this is it. If you change one letter, you can get preposition, adverb, verb and uh, noun, parts, parts of speech of the with a letter changed. Right. But you did solve the wall and you gave me three connections, so you get a total of seven points. Let's bring in their opponents now, give them the other wall and see what they can do about solving it. It's the wall-to-wall -wall for you at Prey Skiers. You've got two and a half minutes, starting now. Mm. OK. Jeepers Creepers, that has, like, a rhyming thing with it. Yeah. Mm. Prime mm. suspect. Prime tie. Prime oh, minister. Nice. Prime number. Try Prime meridian. One. So where am I going? Five. So number, time, yeah. meridian, suspect. OK, cool. Um, the cheapest sweets, smarties and cheapest. Uh, not that I know of. Um, box. There's theatre things, things in there yeah, as well. Yeah, stage box or yeah. auditorium. Catwalk a theatre. Catwalk yeah, could be on I the think stage. that's the lighting thing, 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 isn't it? Box so... auditorium, stage wings. No. So do those with catwalks so and leave yeah. out box. Leave out box. Oh, and yeah. prompt corner's one. got to be in that as well, surely. <laughs> no. Is rack stop, is that part of a camera? I have no idea. High pieces. Maybe auditorium? Oh, Revol I bet a box is a part of a camera. I bet a box is a part of a camera. There's plenty of box camera. Let's try those. So... Rack stop, high piece, revolving box. nose piece. Yeah. And auditorium? Box. Auditorium? Yeah. What? What for? No. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> so do okay, box, rack stop. Add box in with those and, yeah. and leave them out in turn. So where box, am I going? Box, box. auditorium, high piece, revolving nose piece. You've got a minute piece. left. Auditorium? Are you mental? I'm not sure. Box, <laughs> rack, stop. Box, eyepiece. Box, rack, stop, eyepiece, revolving nose piece. Box, rack, stop, eyepiece, revolving nose piece. No. Um... OK, mini. Minister starts with mini. Jeep, Jeepers. Oh, Jeep. oh, cars. Smart. Audi. Yes. So those three. Audi, mini. Smart. Smart. Yep. Yep. We've got go. 30 Robert. seconds and three um, lives. OK, so we, okay. should we just cycle through for the yep. theatre stuff? So... So wings, stage, yeah. prom corner and box. Nope. So leave out... S no, don't leave. One life. Oh, stage no. is a camera. Stage is in a camera. 
It but stays that's it. Right. You've had your three <laughs> lives, I'm afraid. The wall has frozen. But you found two groups, and I can give you points for the connections. Number, time meridian. Suspect? They are all prime. You can put prime before yep. all of them. Auditorium, jeepers, minister, and so on. So the first part of the word is a uh, brand of car. That's it. You spotted the cars. Audi, Jeep, Mini and Smart. And you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. That's how it should have been. Rack stop, stage, eyepiece, revolving nose piece. Parts, the, parts, parts of the camera. the camera? I'm afraid they are parts of a microscope. Oh. Microscope. And the last group, box, prompt corner, catwalk, wings. We think these are things in a theatre. They are all in a theatre. But you found two groups and you gave me three connections. That is a total of five points. Let's have a look at the overall scores. The colleagues have 14 points. The Apres skiers have 14 points. And if you and your revolving nose piece would like to come along and be on Only Connect, then why not go to the website bbc.co.uk slash Only Connect to find out how to apply or indeed how to be put together with a team if you don't have one. We are very close going into the missing vowels round. It will be decided here. And, of course, you can lose points as well as win them, so be careful. Fingers on buzzers. I can tell you that the first group all use a mirror when doing their job. <laughs> Colleagues? Dentist. Dentist. Correct. <laughs> Skiers? Taxi, Taxi driver. driver. Correct. Can't see this one. It's too late, I'm afraid. Orchestral organist. Next clue. Colleagues? Hairdresser. Yes, it is. Next category. Books in the Horrible Histories series. Skiers? Rotten Romans. Correct. Skiers? Angry Aztecs. Yes, it is. Colleagues? Villainous Victorians. Correct. Skiers? Gorgeous Georgians. Yes, it is. Next category, romantic flower names. Skiers? Loving... Loving Mist. I'm afraid that's not it. Colleagues, do you know? Love in a mist is the flower. Next clue. Skiers? Kiss me over the garden gate. I'd be delighted. Gardeners, this one is Love Lies Bleeding. But the bell has gone for the end of the quiz, and I can tell you after a very tight game. The winners with 18 points are the Apre Skiers. Colleagues, you've got 17 points, just one behind. So it's you, Apre Skiers, who are straight into the next round. And colleagues, of course, you will get another chance to win your way into the next round later in the competition. Yes, we'll be seeing them all again at this stage. Nobody goes home. Although, actually, I had a letter anyway from somebody complaining that I shouldn't say defeated contestants are going home. That's just quiz show cliche, and they might be going on to other places for the evening. I think perhaps he hadn't seen the show. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>